Hello there, welcome to the Worldwide What Quest. Today you're going to learn the basics of web. So we're going to show you how to run a server and also give you a quick overview of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So to explain you a bit how the web works, uh, let's check this, uh, this graph out. So when you want to access a web page from your browser, which is also called a client, this is what happens. The browser is sending a request uh, to a server. Uh, the server is the place where your uh, files are hosted. So your uh, HTML, CSS, JS files, all the code is hosted on the server. So when the server gets that request, it treats it and then it sends a response uh, and serves the page uh, on your browser. So then you can see the contents of the web page appear. Um, so a server is basically uh, just a computer. So it means that you can use your own computer to run, to run a, a server and serve files locally. And so then be able to access them uh, via your browser. So that's how we're going to do uh, in, that in this quest. So let's go to, to check how to do that. So to run a server on your machine, uh, you need a tool. So there is a lot of tools that enable you to do so. Uh, from the most basic ones to the most advanced ones. The one we're going to use today is called Serve. It's a small package, which is uh, very practical, um, very simple. So here is their GitHub page. You can check it out. Uh, what we want for today for that quest is just that command. It's going to be enough for us. So npx uh, serve. So you can copy that command and then go to your terminal. Then you go to the folder. Uh, where there is uh, your repository for your PC, so at the root of the, the repository, and uh, you paste that comment. So the package is getting uh, treated, and so here it is. So now it's saying serving, meaning that the server is running on your computer, and it gives you the URL where the server is running. So it copied it automatically to my clipboard. So now I can just go to the browser, I open a new tab, I paste it, and then here it is, the server is running here. Uh, so now it's acting uh, as a directory. So it's just listing what you have inside that directory. And this is like so because there is no HTML file so far. If there is an HTML file, it's gonna display that HTML file instead of displaying a list of uh, elements in that directory. So let's do that. Let's create an HTML file. Uh, go to your text editor and uh, save, save that file. For now, it's going to be empty. It's just to show you how it works. So you have to call it index.html. It's important. It's by convention. You have to call it index. Uh, it's going to be the entry point for your web page. If you don't call it index, uh, it's not going to be displayed right away when you hit the URL. So let's create it in, this, in the repository. And then now if I reload the page, you can see that the list is uh, not displayed anymore, but my HTML file is displayed at, the, at that place. So uh, for now it's empty, so you cannot see anything obviously. Uh, but in the next video, that's what we're going to do. We're going to populate that HTML file with also CSS and JavaScript so you can see uh, content appear. Uh, that's it for the video. See you in the next one.